Coach? Awesome. Uh, I want to start out by first congratulating Robert Morris on um, an amazing run for them, their team, their conference. Um, they, ha they are extremely well coached and have some really talented players. So um, I think it was a pretty remarkable season for them and they should be very proud of what they were able to do. Um, our team was really, really good on defense tonight. We had a game plan put together and they executed it. I thought we got good and valuable minutes from a lot of people. Our playing time was equally distributed uh, amongst several of our players. Um, once Coach Walls gets here, he's probably going to be um, not very happy with our turnovers tonight. We typically are a team that gets eight to 10 turnovers, so we'll have to clean that up. Um, but beside that, I thought it was a great experience for our young kids to get involved early. Um, I thought the crowd was phenomenal. And I'm just extremely appreciative um, that my family was here with me today, um, gets to come back here, and uh, they miss school. I sort of got them out of school. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, it was just a, a really fun experience for me, and that's what Coach Walls, the last words he told me before um, he left us this morning at pregame, is no matter what, to have fun. So I just really tried to keep that in mind and um, really tried to be relaxed. I was very confident. Um, I was not nervous. Um, I just was excited for our players. And when you have a great team and a great uh, cast and an ensemble, it's very easy to be confident and um, not nervous or scared. It's something I've been coaching for 25 years. So um, I, I feel very well equipped for something like this. Um, but it will be nice to have our commander in chief back on Sunday. Um, so the starting roster had Mikasa in it. Um, how soon did you decide that? Did you set that on your own? Uh, that would be no. <laughs> I don't do anything without the approval of my boss. So uh, we had talked about it. Um, you know, we got, when, when it happened against Notre Dame, it was like a game time decision. So we really weren't prepared to think about it as much as we um, did having this whole week off. And Dana's role has been so great coming off the bench that we thought it would be better to do this and keep her accustomed to what she's doing and her strength and change the tempo when she comes in and the dynamic of our team. So we thought after, you know, some deliberation that this would be the best thing for our team is to start Mikasa. Yep. In the back here in the corner on the left. Stephanie, what was Jeff's last words to you before he, Have walked, fun. Before he walked across the street? Have fun. That's what he told me. Um, <clears throat> Uh, those of you who had, you know, you all have had a chance to get to know him over the years. Um, and he's, he's an amazing coach to work for because he gives us so much freedom. Um, he really instills ownership in this program. So whether you're the first assistant, the last assistant, the manager, the guy who sweeps, our practice players, uh, you all, ha we all have um, an opportunity to be impactful in our program because he lets us. And to have someone like that as your boss um, really instills a lot of confidence and pride. And so he, he kept like making it really easy. No, pr well, he jokingly put pressure on, but now the pressure's on him. So um, <clears throat> I did my job. <laughs> so he was giving me crap the whole week about, um, you know, a lot of different things and really keeping it light. And, um, and so the last thing he said is just make sure you have fun. Don't worry about anything else, just have fun. So I appreciated that because, I mean, it, if you think about it, even though I have a ton of experience, your first coaching is a do or die situation. It's a one and done situation. It's not like, even though I had the opportunity to do it against UT Martin, it wasn't like, um, you know, if we lost that you're done with the season. So this is a, a different um, animal to have to deal with to be thrown into the fire your first time. But he made that transition really easy and really set me up for success. Coach um, Paige Sherrard from Cardinal Sports Zone. Do you think Coach Walls was having fun across the street? What do you think was going through his mind as he was watching this game on television? You know, he's a, a really positive person. Um, so I would imagine he was having fun. And then he was probably cussing at the TV a few times. But um, no, he saw how hard our kids played. I think he, I think he would be proud if he was in here. Um, I really do. Um, so, you know, he's the patriarch of this 
um, this program, and I'm just really proud to be his understudy, and I hope that um, he was really proud of our coaching staff because it's, although I'm sitting up here, um, there's two other assistant coaches who do a phenomenal job, and we really collectively talked about, we got together last night at the hotel and talked about how we were going to coach together, what each person's responsibility was going to be, um, that this is going to take a village. And so um, I, I would give as much credit to them as I would to Coach Walls, but um, they, they did a great job of keeping me confident too as we were going into this. So Back there by the cameras. Um, with Sam coming back from injury, did you expect her to have this kind of performance that she did, like I said, right after um, rehab and everything? Yeah, I wouldn't expect anybody, not only Sam. Um, she literally practiced not even a full, I think she practiced a full practice, but she had limited reps, so really one practice. Um, and it was quite a long time since our Notre Dame game. And you know, there's always an element of doubt in, in you when you're coming back from an injury, especially a sprain of some sort. You know, am I gonna step wrong or do something? Um, and she just played so aggressively. Um, I was just really proud of her because that's not an easy thing to do to really press yourself to get back as soon as you can. I mean, ideally, we would love to have another four days off, three or four days for her, but, um, you know, she gutted it out. And it was just a tremendous um, effort, and especially the rebounding part. I know she had 19, I think, tonight and was perfect from the field. But it's really the rebounds, because this team is a really good rebounding team. Um, and she just brings that um, confidence to our, to our group, um, because she's always in there doing the dirty stuff and cleaning things up for people. So I was just, I couldn't be more happy and proud of her to be able to come back off that injury in the first game back, um, have a performance like that. Left side, back row. Um, obviously, we don't know who Sunday's game will be, mm -hmm. but um, in preparations for that, what are we going to take away? Yeah, so um, I had to pull double duty, so I not only had this scout, which which was a cumulative effort between all of us, but I, I mean, I had to know what was going on. So it's not typical that uh, an assistant coach would do back-to-back -back scouts, but myself, I have Michigan, and then Coach Purcell has Kansas State, so um, we are kind of pulling double duty here a little bit. Um, so that's typically how we do it throughout the year. Each one of us assistants, and it'll be a different assistant would have a certain team. Um, so I'm very familiar with Michigan. I couldn't tell you anything except Kansas State runs a 1-3-1 because Purcell told me that, but I have not uh, have not taken a peek at them, so I'm anxious to go out and watch them. This is going to be a great game. These are two really, really good teams. Um, this is not your typical 8-9 game in the past, and I think that's indicative of women's basketball this year. It's been extremely competitive, extremely balanced, and the parity is phenomenal. So it makes for a great fan experience. Um, this game on Sunday is going to be uh, really, really tough, um, no matter who it is. So um, I'm not necessarily looking forward to it, but uh, we will be up to the challenge at that time because these two teams are, are much better. Um, well, I mean, they're eight nines. There's a reason they're eight nines, but they're really good eight nines. So I know everybody said like our bracket is loaded, but we've really tried to emphasize to our players, we're just gonna play the next team on our line and not worry about everybody else in there. And then we'll approach each game with the same business-like um, approach that we um, do with all of our teams.